My name is Takuro Mizuta Lippet, um, also performing under DJ Sniff. I am a musician and a curator and researcher um, based in the Netherlands, Amsterdam. Uh, this project that I'm doing is called Birdcage, and um, it's initiated by two curators from France. One is uh, Mathias uh, Geoffroy, and the other is Daniel Ballet. And they've been organizing events, uh, galleries without walls. So they ask artists to create art events in different locations. So they approached me, and I wanted to do something in Chinatown. And uh, so we rented a storefront from Tokodanyon in Chinatown. Okay, so I start from the beginning. Um, let's do another intro with Helen. Let's do your name and... Um, okay. okay. My name is Takuro Mizuta Lippet, um, also known as DJ Sniff. I'm a musician, uh, research, and cur curator now based in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. And um, today I'm here to do a project called Birdcage. Okay, now can you explain what Birdcage is and um, why it is here in Chinatown? Birdcage is a project uh, started by two curators from France, uh, Mathias Geoffroy and um, Daniela uh, Ballet. Okay, let's repeat that. Okay. Okay. 
So Birdca Birdcage is a project uh, initiated by two French curators, uh, Mathias Geoffroy and Daniela Ballet. And they've been uh, asking artists to uh, host shows, uh, art events um, in different locations. So they came to me and I wanted to do something in Chinatown. Um, The reason why I chose Chinatown to uh, do this event was because, well, I come to Chinatown pretty often, and I find it very interesting how it's a mixture of Asian cultures. Um, and the difference between the Asian stores and restaurants uh, is, is pretty subtle, I think, for Westerners. Um, but for Asians themselves, it's quite obvious what the differences are. And I wanted to somehow connect this to my practice in music, where we use different sounds, uh, we use different materials, we use untraditional objects to make music, but for us, the differences are subtle but very important and significant, and we try to make music, uh, new music, out of these different kind of objects. Okay. Um, can you tell me why you were picked to, uh, as the artist for this birdcage, and also what the event is, like how did you involve these other artists and why? How, why was I picked? Like why are you, what is, why? So could you tell me about the, the lineup that you have tonight and why? Um, so for this event, I have a lineup of three other musicians um, other than myself. Uh, Audrey Chen, who's a Taiwanese-American uh, living in the United States. Uh, Byung Jin Kwan, a Korean musician living in the Netherlands, Amsterdam. And Carolyn Teo, um, a half-Asian, ha a half-Chinese, half-Norwegian artist uh, living in Sydney, Australia. And I wanted to work with these artists because they're all artists of Asian descent who are living and working in the Western uh, culture and world. Um, and they're also very experienced experimental musicians. And I wanted to make a connection between their work and their identity and um, their perception of how they're seen as uh, Asian artists um, within a Western society. Uh, and can you tell me how you came to the Netherlands? I came to the Netherlands uh, to work at this institution called Steim, a studio for electro-instrumental music. And it, this is a studio that's been around for 40 years, and they focus on helping artists with technology and um, new music, experimental music. So I moved from New York uh, to come to the Netherlands to be at this institution, and now I'm working there as the artistic director. Inside, outside thing. Inside, outside, and also a little bit like because it's going to be on stage. Maybe more about Chinatown, like okay. art, and why did you want to bring art to Chinatown specifically? Mm. Okay. Um. Mm, okay. Um, I wanted to do this project in Chinatown also because as Asian artists and Asian musicians, we always want to connect with our community and find platforms that actually talks to you know, the people that we feel familiar with. And the music that I'm involved in is usually not connected with the local Chinese community or the Asian community. So I found it a great opportunity to work with uh, Chinese uh, radio TV and Tokodanyon, um, local community members, uh, to collaborate with them and uh, to use a space that uh, was unused and um, use that for a creative project I thought would be good to show that there are cultural activities in Chinatown and there's actually a much diverse uh, uh, people and culture, not just restaurants or shops, but there's actually working uh, artists also in Amsterdam. So I thought this was a good chance to show that. So for this project, I wanted the audience to experience, um, for this project. Could you, you said to show this project in the last. OK. Um, let's see. OK. I chose this, uh, un I, okay. I chose this unused storefront because I thought it was always interesting how in the Netherlands you could always see uh, through windows, through other people's homes. And in Asian cultures, it's very rare that you could see into other people's house. 
Uh, so I find this wall, this transparent wall window, very interesting. And I wanted to play with this, um, this gaze of people looking in and looking outside. So this project is set up that uh, from the outside, you could see uh, four stages, four musicians on different levels. We built uh, vertical stages. And from the outside, you could see them very clearly, but you can't hear anything. Uh, as opposed to that, in the inside, uh, you could only see half of the stage, but you could hear what all the musicians are playing. So I wanted to skew this relationship between what you hear and what you can't hear and what you can see and what you can't see and uh, play with how our ears can drift or focus or experience a spa space differently from how we look at it through our eyes. Is that enough? Okay. My name is Ivan. My name is Audrey, and what are you doing here today? Well, what I'm going, what I'm doing here today, well, playing playing music with mom. And what I'm doing here today is playing music with Ivan, and also with the rest of the ensemble. There's three other people in a, in the piece called Birdcage, and we're in Chinatown in Amsterdam. Um, could you guys? My background is mom. Um, my background, uh, I'm a musician, and uh, I tour to Amsterdam quite often, and I work with uh, DJ Sniff, who helped organize this concert and performance. And it's interesting for me because DJ Sniff, or Taku, um, invited us while we were on holiday um, and a bunch of other Asian performers to perform in this storefront in Chinatown, which is a really interesting and unique opportunity to play, and also with my son, Ivan. Okay, um, Ivan, can you not play with the microphone? I'm not. Here. I was just really going, like, here. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me what instrument you're playing today. Oops. Well, I'm playing this. Wait, sorry. You have to answer, say, my, the instrument that I am playing. Well, the instrument I'm playing is this analog box called the Forces. It has a bunch of metal points off of it coming off and some knobs on top. And it has a built-in speaker to go with it. And you can plug in a battery or you can plug in or you can plug it in to an outlet. And the instruments that I'm playing? The instruments that I am playing are cello and voice and objects and toys and preparations. Um, that sounded kind of weird. It does. Maybe could you talk about um, uh, maybe could you talk about like how you came into experimental music and then include like why I play cello and then I wanted to do it like this. That way you can understand. Okay. Um, wait, I talk about the, the background first? Maybe you can talk about like how you got into experimental music and how you, what instruments you play, so that you make it more of a cohesive. Okay, okay. Well, I think I'll have to start with what I play. Well, I play cello, and I also do voice, and I started as a classical musician at about, um, Maybe about five years ago at this point, I switched from classical music to doing more experimental type music. And what I do now with the instruments are not, uh, it's not necessarily conventional playing, though I don't rule it out, but I use a lot of uh, extended techniques and different sounds for both the voice and for the cello. Um, can you guys talk about being, um, uh, like how is there, Well, it's a it's a long question. <laughs> I mean, it's a long answer I could do. To be a uh, well, uh, as a Asian American performer and a musician, it's uh, it's actually quite difficult because I mean, there's a a number of levels which make it more difficult. Um, from the onset, I mean, I'm a minority in general. 
uh, and as I tour and travel, I realize that I'm even more of a minority because the the scene of experimental music is predominantly male and it's predominantly white. And I find that even more than um, other occupations or other kinds of communities, that this one is is quite small. And I'm even more of a, yeah, as I said before, even more of a minority. And um, as being a woman, being Asian American, having a child, being a single mom. Um, and how is it yeah. for you to be participating in an event such as Birdcage with um, another kind of mixed bag of Asians? Um, how do, do you I feel like it's weird because it's all Asians, or do you kind of like like that? No, I really like the fact, actually, that. I'm performing with a lot of Asian people, and there's another woman also, and it's uh, it's really rare for me to perform with a lot of other Asians. I mean, I, I I think in terms of playing with Asians, I generally play with Japanese musicians, but I tour to Japan, and also um, I meet them in the U.S. and also in Europe, but this is sort of uh, enough. I think that this kind of particular mix of Asians is really interesting because it's... Uh, there's Korean, and then there's also biracial Asians, like my son, and also Carolyn, and Taku, and then me. It's a, it's a really, it's even more diverse in a way, because none of us actually live in the country that our origin is from. And so we're all immigrants in a way. And that is a really rare thing, I think. Mm -hmm. okay. hey,
thanks for coming, though, to the Birdcage project. Um, we have Wong Kong by the window. We have Audrey Chen on cello and voice. We have Byun Jin up here on typewriter. And I'm DJ Sniff on turntables. Yeah. 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 Yeah.